Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we are going to talk about Microsoft Edge. The Microsoft Edge browser is updated for the stable version. So um, what happens is that I didn't do the video immediately because Microsoft updated the Microsoft Edge browser uh, last week on February the 3rd but they halted the release after a little glitch but it seems that it was okay finally. So they resumed so a lot of people would not have seen the update and they did note on the uh, blog post that uh, the stable channel update is pro progressing slowly so probably they're checking something so i waited a few days for this to uh, check out i got it immediately when it was released but uh, a lot of people actually didn't get it until it, even today we're monday february 7th today so um you have a update for Microsoft Edge and you can check it out on the upper right corner in the three dots. Go to help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. The uh, update brings you to 98.0.1108.43. So uh, this contains, first of all, very important security updates that were also within Google Chrome when they changed to the new version number. So check that out. Uh, Chromium updates for security and that is probably the most important anyways of this if you're not an edge user uh, what happens is that uh, your edge browser might not be updated automatically it's possible so you can check it out just in case links might want to open edge instead of your favorite browser uh, what's new in features one of them is for um, administrators that would like to make sure that uh, your browser is secure they can use group policies to um, use enhanced security mode and uh, so this means that uh, users of the edge browser using these um, group policies are much more secure and are um, basically um, almost sandboxed into certain usage and things uh, from the web can, of course, uh, be blocked, and there's a lot of things that can be done there. Um, of course, Edge has profile experiences, so when you are on your Edge browser, you have your profile, and of course you have personal profile, but you can manage profile settings and make sure that you actually look and add profiles. And so each profile can have its own um, preferences so there's more multi-profile experience experiences uh, for preferences for websites so this is uh, something that uh, might be useful if you have multiple users using the browser profiles are good because what happens is with the profiles you can set each profile with its own you know um, its own settings and its own browsing experience and its own browsing history that doesn't mix up with your uh, browsing history so it's kind of you know a, a new Microsoft Edge for each user there's also a lot of security things you can do in there to make it more secure for those that are um, other users on the, uh, the Edge browser also um, for those that want to test it there is a, a new string because what's gonna happen is we're at version 98 next version is gonna be 99 one of the problems that they are thinking is, and the same thing is happening with Chrome, when, it, when the browser hits version 100, they're afraid that some websites might actually not work well or break. So there's a flag that you can enable, uh, which is called force major version to 100. So in that flag, you can actually force the browser to have websites thinking that this is version 100. So you'll give it's going to give you an idea of you know which websites are broken or not, and finally there's uh, deprecations of WebRTC. Uh, Plan B. This is the second step in a um, deprecation of the uh, Legacy Session Description Protocol (SDP). So uh, these are things that are slowly being deprecated, and uh, of course there are different protocols in the web browsing that you know are old and are deemed to be maybe unsafe over time so they actually are slowly 
um, moving to uh, deprecate these features. Once again, uh, this is a lot of uh, a lot of updates for security, so it's kind of important to check that out, even if you don't care about the new features. There aren't many anyways, at least for security reasons. This is the uh, first step in uh, you know the uh, browsing. So when you go on the web, your first line of defense is your browser, and so it's important to keep it up to date. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.